Well, hello, hello everybody and welcome to another vlog. What a spectacular situation we have here. If you watched last week's video, you may recall that I was up at Notch Hill in the Noose, which is not far from the town of Parksville on Vancouver Island. And uh, we had a great winter snowstorm and I went up to the top of Notch Hill, took some photographs of the Arbutus trees. Today we've come out to a place called Christie Falls, which is not far from Ladysmith, South Island. And uh, the snow here is still a result of that last snowstorm. Today we're supposed to get a, an even bigger dump of snow. So I'm trying to get as much photography in before we, we do get that snow. And uh, I'd like to make a shout out to Mike McCumber, who uh, through Instagram sent me some photographs of Christie Falls and it kind of jogged my memory of a, a perhaps a place to come and check out. I have been here before, but it was about 15 years ago and I haven't been back since. Now, this waterfall here, uh, it's okay, but right now with the ice, it's, it's really quite spectacular. But when the ice isn't here, I, I find it quite hard to photograph. Now, the one section that I find really interesting to photograph is actually the creek over to my right that we'll go to after this. And uh, what I'm gonna concentrate with this waterfall and the creek is more detailed shots, close-up shots of these little areas, especially where there's water coming through and then we have the ice surrounding it. I find that even though this looks spectacular, it doesn't really translate when you try to photograph the whole thing. So for me, it's just more interesting to, to photograph the details. And it's going to be the same over on the creek over here where there's some really nice details of icicles and more water kind of surrounded by ice. All right, I think I found my first composition. And the funny thing is it doesn't actually include any water. I am having a bit of a hard time finding a nice combination of the waterfall and the ice is either too much water with with nice ice but too much water or not enough water it doesn't really show up on the, on the image but I put on the 1 to 200 I'm able to zoom right in and there's some really beautiful ice sculptures in here they're kind of bulbous but they've got icicles hanging from them so they don't have much water going through them but uh, I just like it as a, as a pattern shot so that's what I'm going for here and uh, yeah it's kind of a neat a neat shot to start with starting to come into snow a bit. Uh, I tried to do a, a pano, which I think works okay, but one of the problems I'm having with this is that the black rock seems a bit jarring to me. The contrast between the white ice and that black rock doesn't quite sit well with me. Now it might be okay, it might be just, just you know, my, uh, my thought process. Uh, so what I'm trying to concentrate on is still close-ups. Uh, I put on the um, 1 to 200, but I've also put a 1.4 teleconverter on, and I'm really zooming in to some of these uh, bulbous pieces of ice with the water running around them. And uh, that seems to be working quite well. Um, the hardest part is getting the right shutter speed. One third of a second seems pretty good maybe one fifth of a second uh, I don't know if that would make a huge difference 
but it's nice to get just a little bit of detail in there. I think, uh, I think perhaps the other spot might be a bit easier to find compositions. So I'm just gonna take a few more here and then uh, head on over to the other side here, see what I can find over there. You may have noticed that the final images are quite a bit cooler than the raw files and that's because I've cooled them down on purpose. Usually when we see ice scenes like this we usually associate those scenes with cooler colors like blue. If this was a warmer scene then I would probably warm it up but I found that the raw files were just a little bit too yellow or too neutral for my liking so I cooled them down on purpose. I also opened up the shadows considerably, not that there were a lot of shadows, but some of the, the darker areas, I've opened those up because I just felt that the contrast just made the images look too busy. Right, I've come down to the other creek now, away from Christie Falls, and there's some really cool details here, but on closer inspection, it's actually busier than where we just were but the, there's one section that I really do like and that's these icicles here really love those icicles and there's one section in particular where there's these two rocks coming down kind of bulbous they, they droop down like this with the ice coming down and that's what I'm going to concentrate on uh, I think that I'm probably going to go either with a square or four by five and I'm also doing some panos. The one thing that I have noticed though is that on the, your left side, there's one icicle there that's quite a bit brighter than the other icicles. And that's something to keep, keep an eye on. Because it's quite a bit brighter, I know that when I open that up in uh, Lightroom or Photoshop, your eye is gonna go directly towards that. So I'll probably have to really tone that one down and then brighten up the, mid, the, the icicles in the middle to kind of make it a little bit more even. The reason why it's brighter is that it's further out from the cliff than the other icicles. But I really love that. Now, as far as the waterfall goes, the waterfall is okay, but it, it's, it seems to be streaming into one stream. So it, it's just a, a waterfall and then bits of ice around it. So it looks a little bit busy if it was more even across the cliff, then I think that would probably work better. So, like I said, I'm just going to concentrate on the icicles. I really love icicles, so uh, just keep doing all kinds of compositions around those icicles. And I'm sure I could probably come up with something that's uh, really quite interesting. Thank you ever so much everybody for watching this week's video, especially if you made it to the end. And also thank you to my new Patreon members. If you're interested in finding out some of the perks at Patreon, be sure to check out the link down below. Until next time, bye-bye.